Hi, now I'm here to solve a problem which is finding the kth smallest element in a given array where k is always smaller than the size of the array. So size of the array means number of elements uh, in a given array. In this example, my size is, uh, I'll consider n to store the size and n is 6 because there are 6 elements. So I want to find the fourth smallest element in this array. So uh, um, when I look at the array and see, uh, I see 10 as my fourth the smallest element. But how do how do I how did I get into this conclusion that 10 is my fourth smallest element? Because in my mind I did a sorting on those given elements, and then uh, fourth uh, 10 was fourth on my list. So. Uh, so that's how I was able to get this, uh, uh, get to this answer. So how to do this programmatically? Basically, you sort it and then return the kth minus one element because array starts with the index zero. So if you want uh, the first smallest element, it will be in the index zero. If you want the second, it will be index one. So if you want k, uh, kth smallest element, the the act after sorting the actual element will be at the k minus one index this is the index we should be looking for after sorting the array to return it uh, to the calling function uh, so this is how it is implemented you can pick any uh, sorting algorithm i picked bubble sort here using the bubble sort what uh, uh, what i'll be doing is basically compare each element with every other element uh, till the end of the array and uh, if it is if the element is greater than the other then swap the element and by the end uh, and till that by the time it reaches to the end largest number will be placed to the last position so what I'm trying to tell here is so how bubble sort works is comparing 7 and 10 7 is smaller so I'll not do anything, so 10 and 4, yes 10 is greater, uh, so I'll swap these two, so my array will be 7, 4, 10, 3, 20 and 15 and then I'll swap 10 and, I'll, I'll check 10 and 3 uh, because uh, because 10 and 10 is greater than 3 uh, i'll swap it again so 7 4 3 10 20 and 15 uh, when it comes to 10 and 20 uh, 10 is not greater than 20 so i'll not do any swapping but again but i'll do the comparison between 20 and 15 where 20 is greater so my new array will be 7 4 3 10 15 and 20 if you look at this array 20 is the largest element in the array and by the end of one complete iteration which is called for a pass by the end of the first pass largest element will be at its correct position i mean will be at the last because we are trying to sort it in an ascending order so basically this loop will give me the uh, number uh, this loop will tell me what is the largest element by the end of that pass and this uh, the outer loop will tell me how many number of passes uh, do I need to do for if even if the array is given in a worst uh, sorted or unsorted array in, in, even for the worst case uh, it will tell the uh, maximum number of passes that are need to sort a given particular array that depends on the size of the array okay so uh, j the jth loop will iterate and give me the pass and give me the largest element at the end the i loop will tell me how many passes will I have uh, to make my array sorted. By doing this, I'll have a final array of 3, 4, 7, 10, 15, 20. And 15 and 20 so this is my final array so my indices are 0 1 2 3 
four, five, and by logic we are returning the k k minus one uh, uh, element. Uh, so k my k is four, four minus one is three. So I am returning ten. So ten is my fourth smallest element in the array. So this is uh, uh, so this part of finding out is uh, in the uh, main method where I'm trying to create an object of this uh, find k smallest and calling the sort function by passing the array this was my input array and I'm passing um, uh, so I'm defining my size as well once I sort my array I'll just uh, print out what is my k minus one element using a print statement and telling that yes 10 is my um, a fourth smallest element for this particular uh, array so this is my solution uh, to this problem thank you